Christ on the cross demonstrates God's accomplishment in salvation. Christ's atoning death gives the believer security and assurance in salvation. The preaching of the cross is appropriate for this eulogy because Benita was a believer. The substitutionary work of Jesus Christ speaks about the love and work of God which he has for the believer. It must be noted that we are emphasizing not the love that Benita has for God, but rather the love that God has for Benita. Benita faced death, and she overcame it. The Lord Jesus Christ conquered death on her behalf, and by his work in the accomplishment of redemption, nothing, not even death itself, can separate Benita from himself. From the cradle to the grave and on to eternity, God was and is active in Benita's life. The love he bestowed upon her does not cease after death. The Gospel of Jesus Christ states that the salvation of Benita and bringing her into his presence after, his de after her death has occupied the mind of God since before time began, and he has now brought it into fruition. Even as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy before him, in love, having foreordained us unto adoption as sons through Jesus Christ unto himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. Ephesians 1, 4, and 5. This is the love that God has for Benita. God actively removed all obstacles by the atonement of the Lord Jesus Christ to bring her safely into glory to be with him forever. Three things we are to learn from Benita's life, death, and salvation into the kingdom of heaven. Number one, God's love for Benita is not emotionalism, but it is action. God's love is an act of his will. God is at work in the life of the believer and not just emotionalizing himself with them. Focusing on Benita's last hours on earth, how did the love of God work? God set his will upon Benita and gave her comfort physically, emotionally, and spiritually, and then brought her safely into his presence without delay or opposition in order for Benita to be with Christ forever. We who were with her during her final hours can testify that was the case. Number two, for us who remain, the gospel of God's grace motivates us aggressively to pursue and press our way into the kingdom of heaven. That is what life is all about. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and men of violence take it by force. Matthew 11, 12. Thirdly, for us who have been left behind, this act of God upon Benita keeps us from excessive sadness and sorrow for the Christian dead. We may use the words dead and death for those who have passed away, but in Benita's case, and as far as God himself is concerned, she still lives. At this very moment, she is fully cognizant of her surroundings in heaven. Not because we hope it to be so or out of some subjective or ethereal way, but because the word of God says so. Miss her? Yes. Mourn excessively? No. Because she is right now and will forever be with the Lord Jesus Christ. This is what the love of God does. It works. In Benita's case, God worked in her and brought her to himself by the power of his own will, which he accomplished in Christ Jesus. What a Savior we have in Jesus Christ. In the death of Christ, we have the death of death. And it has no power to end Benita's existence. 
In the salvation of Benito, we have seen for ourselves the power.